Welcome back to the channel. Manchester United have been linked with one of the most promising players of his generation, also linked with a South American wonder kid. Rashford and Anthony exit talks, more nonsense about Joshua Xerxes, Lenny Yoro injury update, Harry Amas on the bench for Fanabarche potentially, all this coming up, plus all the latest Manchester United news and transfer news that will keep you right up to date with everything. Welcome to Man United Review. My name's Jamie. Before we get into it, please smash a like on the video and let's jump straight on into it. So let's kick off with, let's kick off with all the transfer news. So TBR Football understands that Boca Juniors are expected to lose Kevin Zenon in January. Manchester United, Tottenham and Newcastle have all watched him this year. Now that came from Graham Bailey, who is, you know, a hitty missy journalist, not the not the most credible, but not a he's a decent, a decent kind of source. Um originally posted that on his on his kind of X account. However, the actual report itself came from a little bit of a lesser known um, kind of journalist, I would say. So the actual report was saying that TBR Football understands that Boca Juniors are expecting to lose Kevin Zenon in January. The 23-year-old has emerged as one of the key figures in Fernando Gago's lineup. We understand that the likes of Napoli, Atalanta, Leon, Sporting Lisbon and Atletico Madrid are amongst those who are keen on Zenon. There is English interest we can confirm from sources that Liverpool, Newcastle, Tottenham, Man United, Fulham and Everton have all watched Zenon in the last six months, Zenon is thought to have a thirteen million pound release clause in his Boca Junior and in his Boca contract. So, um, so like I said, I would say personally take that story with a pinch of salt. So while Graham Bailey is a bit more of a credible kind of journalist who did post the story on his on his kind of account, however, the actual journalist that wrote the story is not the most credible. So I would say initially take it with a pinch of salt. But looks a really promising player. Um, you know, plays as a predominantly as a left winger, which is weird considering, you know, I think we're quite stacked in that position with Rashford and Garnacho. However, um, he is naturally left footed, so there could be the option to play him on the right as like the inverted kind of right winger coming in on his left foot. That seems the way that modern football's gone, where you're you're kind of almost playing your wingers on the opposite side to what they're naturally footed is. Um so it could be potentially be converted to a right winger. Um you know, looks a real talent, quick, good dribbler. Um, £13 million would be worth a punt. You know, a minimum, like a, a relative low risk, high reward type sign it type sign in would fit the model of being young, hidden gem, developmental, etc. That's the kind of model that Ineos are wanting to go down. Not not Dutch, not from the Eredivisie, which would be which would be a tick in the box as well. But um, initially, I would say take those stories with a pinch of salt because they're not coming from the most credible of sources. But a really interesting profile of player. Looks a really talented talented youngster looking at the data and doing some kind of research and stuff around him. 23-year-old. Uh, does look like a, like a good player. But again, the report was basically saying that everybody's looking at him, which maybe is a, is a good thing if, he's, if, he's, um, if he is talented, that there aren't. Maybe that's good that there's a lot of Teams potentially interested in him. However, it did feel a little bit like name dropping United just to kind of generate a, a few more views and, and clicks personally. So, um, but let me know what you think about that in the comments. Now, he's not the only winger that we've been linked with. So, initially, this came from Portuguese outlets saying that Manchester United have explored the possibility of signing 17 year old sporting wonder kid Giovanni Coenda. He has been dubbed as one of the most promising players of his generation. Now, this boy looks very good he looks like a real a real future star um when i was doing some research and that around i found this report which was from um academy scoop are really good when it comes to kind of profiling young players and stuff that they had to say about him and this was from june as well so this was before um he's been linked with united but then also before he's kind of made his debut and stuff it was quite a long thread so i've just kind of taken some of the highlights from it so um so according to um, academy scoop they're saying meet giovanni Cowenda, a skillful left-footed two-way right winger with frightening pace and physical app attributes an ever-present threat in the port in portugal's impressive under 17 euro run earlier this year which saw them reach the final bested only by victors um italy the 17 year old like liao provides a dependable attack and outlet in possession with the requisite intelligence to make well-timed runs resulting in in consistent threat in behind corenda re retains possession with reliable consistency thanks to a top level 
top, thanks to top level technical ability and impressive decision making for his age. Giovanni also brings positive influence out of possession with a defensive work rate and pressing efficiency on theme with his in possession exploits. So um so Academy Scoop kind of bigging up the type of profile he is, linking him a little bit similarly to Rafael Liao. Um, and you can kind of see that when you watch his highlights and do do um, watch some bits around him. He looks a really, really talented winger. Um, he looks the real deal. He's been linked with City. He's been linked with Chelsea. Um, yeah, just, just looks like he could potentially be a future star. Not one I've seen loads of. Obviously, I've done some research, looked at his stats. He's got bags of potential. Um, Sporting have a really good eye for bringing through young talents, and he's believed to be potentially the next one of his generation to come through their system. Um, right winger, left-footed, quick, direct, 12 appearances, one goal on his debut, one assist so far this season. Um yeah, looks a really, really promising player. Would have to be a summer deal, though, because of Brexit rules with him being under 18. We're not allowed to sign him until he turns 18, which isn't until April. But definitely one to watch, that's for sure. Um, is it from the most credible outlet? No. Um, but really, really interesting profile of player. The fact that he is um, obviously a, a, in a position that we're potentially going to be looking to strengthen in the summer. We know we're looking for young, talented, up-and-coming players. We know we're looking for best in class as well. And I think this this boy could be could be one definitely to keep an eye on. And, and one, um, obviously, we know we scouted the Under-17s World Cup because that's where we got Coney from. So if the scouts were looking at this sort, the, the, those players that were playing in that competition, this has got to be one that would have caught their attention because he looks a really, really talented player and definitely one that I could see coming in United and doing really, really well, fitting the kind of model of what we're looking for. Obviously, we do the, the one success that we've had in recent years is developing youth and bringing through these kind of young players. And I think he would tick the boxes there, personally but you can let me know what you think about that in the comments now in terms of our existing wingers um i, I wanted to kind of bring this in as well obviously we've got one of the most talented young players i think around at the moment in alejandro garnacho and statman dave said he's been directly involved in eight goals in all competitions so far this season across europe's top five leagues only under 21 winger sorry the only under 21 winger with more goal involvement involvements is Lamine Yamal and that's impressive do you mean like when it comes to statistically where Garnacho is up there do you, do you mean Yamal's probably going to win the Golden Boy Awards let's be honest this year right he's, he's the, the by far in my opinion the best young player around at the moment and the fact that Garnacho is up there um, in terms of goal involvements for a player of his age just shows how good of a talent we've got with with Alejandro Garnacho. So massively excited to see how he develops going forward. Um, and then there's been a few exits regarding our existing wingers. So Anthony um, has been linked with leaving. So Footy Insider have said that Manchester United are set to entertain loan offers for Anthony in January. That's not necessarily breaking news because there have been a few rumours and a few reports from more credible places, I would say, as well, over the last few weeks, suggesting that Manchester that, that United might be looking to um, move on Anthony in January, whether we would be able to sell him or not, I don't think is realistic. So they are looking at maybe a loan to potentially with an option or an obligation to buy, or at least increase his kind of value if he, if he plays and performs for the summer. Um, and then also the Telegraph, who are a um, Dutch outlet, quite credible, saying that Ajax have discussed the possibility of re-signing Anthony, but they are unsure about the state of the player's mindsets after his struggles at Manchester United, so Ajax kind of questioning whether they would bring Anthony back because of the, the the way that he's performed at United and his kind of struggles as well. But I do think that they would be looking to move on um, Anthony, possibly on loan in January. And I, I mentioned this in the previous video where that would be a tell for me because we can't let Anthony go without replacing him. So that's maybe why we're getting linked with a load load of um, kind of young wingers that we've just mentioned. Obviously, Zanon could potentially be one that we're, li we're looking at, although want to see a bit more credibility regarding that. Um, Kuenda that I mentioned there, we can't sign in January. That's a summer deal because of his because of his age as well. But it is one where potentially to keep an eye on the a, a wing position, um, possibly for January. Obviously, the other one we've been heavily linked with is Eze. He's the the kind of other name that's been kind of widely reported from more credible places as well for that potential role. Um, but let me know what you think about that in the comments. And then there's been more stories 
if, yeah, we're going to call them stories um, regarding Marcus Rashford and potentially a January exit, which I'm going to say take with a pinch of salt straight away. Um, but the report says the following, Bayern Munich and Marseille have joined Paris Saint-Germain in keeping tabs on Manchester United star Marcus Rashford, though the Red Devils are eager to keep him. Team Talk can exclusively reveal. Um, sources state that Rashford leaving Old Trafford is not impossible as the January transfer window approaches. Um, PSG remain in the frame and they hope to land Rashford in what would be a statement deal. And then the report also went on to say, however, PSG are not the only interested party. Should United give the green light for Rashford to leave, that Bayern Munich and Marseille would both be keen to explore a possible move too. That came from um, Fraser Fletcher via Team Talk. Now, Team Talk are a gossip outlet, like rumours and gossip and stuff, but they do have some you know, some credible or some some decent journalists that work for them and then some not some credible journalists as well. And Fraser Fletcher is actually probably one of the more credible, although not credible. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, so I would say, again, take that story with a pinch of salt. I can't see in any shape or form us getting rid of Rashford in January unless we got a mind-blowing offer by, by, you know, PSG or Bayern Munich. I think it would take some serious cash for them to even consider getting rid of Rashford, considering I think so far he's actually having a good start to the season in terms of his numbers and his kind of start, starting to get amongst the goals and assists. He's, he's up there with the um, top chance creators in the league as well, believe it or not, this season. So I actually think it would take a serious wedge for us to even consider um, selling Rashford in January, unless the player himself wants to go, that couldn't be ruled out. But I'm going to say, take that story with a pinch of salt. Anthony, one I could maybe believe as as kind of likely because of the because the fact he's not playing, and you know we know that um, some reports are saying that Ineos don't rate him and they want to kind of move him on. But no way, Rashford, not for January anyway. Maybe in the summer when you've got time to replace him and 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 bits like that as well. But definitely not for January for me. But you can let me know what you think in the comments. Um, and then there was some noise yesterday regarding Joshua Xerxes. And then there's been another kind of nonsense story coming out regarding him as well. Um, and again, I would say, to, again, take this with a with a bit of a pinch of salt. So this kind of post came out from an Italian journalist, I don't know the credibility of, saying that Joshua Xerxes is open to joining Juventus in January. Now, I actually read the report. Um, and did the, um, like, it's difficult though, cause I've got to use Google translate cause I don't speak Italian. Um, but the people's person actually summarized the article quite well. So I, I'm going to use what they kind of, um, quote tweeted and stuff around it. So in, effectively in the report, it says the forward is starting to regret his decision to come to the Premier League ahead of staying in, um, in Syria. The report further highlights the 23 year old's wishes to leave Old Trafford as early as January but it is still not clear whether the Red Devils will agree to the player's wishes so soon after spending big money to land him. Juventus remain keen on bolstering their attack with former Bologna manager Thiago Motta currently in charge of the Turin-based club, and they could opt for a loan deal. AC Milan, who were also keen in the summer, seem to have moved on. Um, Joshua is starting to regret the choice he made in the summer, preferring the Red um, preferring the Red Devils to various Italian clubs and beyond. The English press have no doubts right now that Xerxes is a £36 million flop. Xerxes would gladly return to Italy probably as early as January. It remains to be seen whether Manchester United would be open to a loan transfer. Joshua could come back into fashion for Juventus, who are looking for a player with his characteristics, while for Milan, despite the strong approval, the matter seems to have um, been definitively closed. So that came from, again, it was... A, I kind of the the report was summarized quite well by the people's person so go and check it out if you want to want to have a read of it but originally it was from an Italian journalist and an Italian outlet that I don't know the credibility of I'm going to say though that all this noise around Joshua Xerxes seems to be coming from the Italian media where I think they're just shit stirring that's my personal opinion on it I think they are just stirring shit because Xerxes obviously did well in Italy last season decided to leave to come to to come to us in the Premier League and I think there's just sour grapes around it that's how it kind of feels to me whether whether because he's not particularly been doing well of late although I thought at the start of the season I actually thought he was okay some of his performances yes he missed a few chances but his overall play I thought was was actually quite good and his link-up play in certain games was really impressive so I don't actually think he's had a bad to start to the season 
as some people are suggesting, although in front of goal, he looks he he, he lacks kind of that sharpness. Um, but I do think last couple of games, games, he just seems to have lost a little bit of confidence, which is, you know, it is what it is. But I think all of that nonsense is just coming from Italian journalists where they've got sour grapes, the fact that he left Syria to come to the Premier League and they don't like it. So they're putting out all these nonsense stories, probably trying to destabilise him. Um or, or generate kind of clicks and views and stuff, put Man United's name in Xerxes. So in, in Italian media, um, they'll kind of click on it and, and potentially get views and stuff. So I think it's all kind of nonsense around Xerxes. There is, unless the unless he's done an Alexis Sanchez, unless he's come and then decided straight away, yeah, not for me, thank you very much. And he wants to go himself, but we've not heard any credibility around that. I think just leave the guy alone. Let's just kind of let him develop, let him settle in, get behind him. Um, he's only 23 years old, coming into a new league. And as I mentioned, I don't think his performances have been that bad. Yes, he's lacked a little bit of sharpness in front of goal, but you know he didn't have a preseason, so I don't expect him to come in hitting the ground running in that situation either. And he needs time to bed in. Let's be a bit patient and not let all this nonsense, um, you know, make Xerxes the new scapegoat. Because I don't think it's I don't think there's any credibility in those stories, and I think it is just media nonsense. Uh, but let me know what you think about that in the comments. And then the final few stories I'm going to go through with you. So Manchester United have registered an interest in bringing Angel Gomez back to the club. They are. There are currently no signs of a renewal for Gomez at Lille, meaning he will be free to sign a pre-contract agreement in January. Now, that came from Lequip via Get French Football News. Lequip are very good and very credible when it comes to um, French French players and French kind of media. Our, our stories um, suggesting that United have registered an interest in bringing Angel Gomez back. Now, Angel Gomez is a player that we've been heavily, heavily linked with over the last few weeks. Obviously, a former player of ours out of contract next summer so he can sign a pre-agreement as well we know that potentially we're going to be looking for a, a an Ericsson replacement next summer as well could Gomez be that midfielder that we're looking for could there be like a little sneaky early January deal to be done possibly for a couple of couple of quid who knows but it definitely seems like it's a player of um a, I don't want to say a player of interest but one that we've been heavily heavily linked with so it might be one to keep an eye on um going forward although there are other clubs interested in him so it could just be using man united to get a bit more interest in and get a few more um other clubs to kind of come in and make a bid for him but let me know what you think about gomez would you sign him for free next summer or potentially for a few million quid in january let me know what you think in the comments and then the final stories I've got for you. So Lenny Oro is still a lot of work to do and he will begin the transition to team training when he is ready. His return um, to competition is not yet imminent. So if you haven't seen it, Lenny Oro has been pictured back on the grass. So he's back in training on grass, um, not with the first team or not amongst that yet. Man United have kind of confirmed that there's still a lot of work to do. He's going to begin that trans transition to training when he's ready. So they are going to take their time with Lenny Oro, but it's good signs that he's back with his boots on, back kind of running and training on grass as well. So hopefully we can see him. Um, I don't know if we'll be back before the international break or maybe after the next international break as well, but positive steps to see Lenny Oro on his way back. Um, I can't wait to see him kind of come in and see how he kind of does in the team and in and around the first team. Definitely a good option for to be in and around the squad as well. So massively excited for that one. And then I'm massively excited for this as well. With Harry Amas will be on the bench for the game against Fenerbahce on Thursday. He is highly rated among the youth setup that came from United Scout, who are credible when it comes to like United youth youth team um like youth development and stuff or or, or the United's youth stuff. Um so I'm massively excited for that. I think he's you know, considering we've got no left back at the moment and I thought he had a good preseason. Do I think he's physically ready? No, I, I do think he needs to kind of develop his kind of physicality and his strength and bits like that as well. But technically, I think he's a very good player. So it's good to see that he's actually getting his opportunities, whether he'll play any minutes or not. Obviously, it will depend on how the game goes. But I think it's a good experience to bring in a young sort of player like that, even just on the bench to experience that kind of atmosphere that it's going to be on Thursday because it's going to be very, very hostile, can only be a positive positive for me as well so um so let me know what you think about that in the comments and let me know what you think about all the other news discussed in today's video because that is you all up to date with the latest transfer news and man united news don't forget to smash a like on the video on your way out subscribe to the channel if you are new and i will see you in the next one